Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to interpolate missing values in eViews. Here I have a time series data for Bahamas real GDP from 1980 to 2014 in billions. Now as you can see we have here two missing values for the years 2010 and 2011. Now there are two methods of interpolating in eViews. First, click on interpolate and the various methods for interpolation like linear, log linear, cubic screen, cardinal screen. So first we'll see how to interpolate with linear method. So I've chosen linear method and you can name the output series name, the new series name where the values will be interpolated as I'll name it as Bahamas Real GDP Interpolate. So this is my new series name and then click OK. Now we'll get another series where the missing values will be interpolated. You can see we have got the values for 2010 and 2011. This is the first method. So I'll close this and now let's move to another method. Now this is where you can interpolate within the original series. So first click on edit so that the use is on edit mode. Now for uh, interpolating, you need to supply if use some data, some sample data on the basis of which it will interpolate. Now this can be the entire series. You can give it the data from 1980 to 2014 or it can be a sample of that. So let's suppose I take a sample and supply the data to eViews from 2000 to 2014 for the interpolation purposes. Now uh, on the above uh, icon, uh, the white space where blue is highlighted, I'll write here is equal to and hat the symbol above the letters 6 on the keyboard. So this is a symbol for linear interpolation is equal to hat. Now press enter and wherever the missing values in this series will be interpolated. So you can see we have got the data for 2010 and 2011. So you can switch off the edit mode now. And this is the way you can uh, linearly interpolate. So uh, I personally prefer the second method since it's much easier and quicker and you can interpolate it within the original series rather than to create another series. So now let's, uh, this was for linear interpolation. Now if you want to do cubic spleen interpolation, how you can do that? So I'll uh, once again uh, you know, have the missing values for 2010 and 2011 and create NAs. So now again I've got the missing values. So uh, firstly on the basis of uh, uh, the interpolate you can either choose from here cubic screen and let's name this series as Bahamas. This was the first method that we did Bahamas real GDP and I named it as cubic. So I know that I interpolated this with cubic screen method. So okay I get a series where the 2000 values for 2010 and 11 have been interpolated on cubic screen method. I'll close this for now and switch on to the second method for cubic screen. Now similarly we can click on edit mode then choose the sample data that you have to supply to eViews so that it can interpolate on that basis and choose again from 2000 to 2014 and now the only difference is in the symbol. So earlier the symbol for linear interpolation was is equal to hat while the symbol for cubic interpolation is is equal to tilde which is available on the very first key of keyboard on above apostrophe s so is equal to tilde and press enter you'll get the values for the missing ones so you can switch back to edit and so this is the way you can interpolate missing values in eviews so if you like this video, do subscribe and keep, uh, keep updated on more videos on eviews. Thank you.